bitch. Yeah, it don't matter. She done like nigga that broke as fuck. Hit from the front and I'm choking her. I know that these niggas mad as fuck. They sit the back as I ran it up. All that for five and you gang or what? You can't be gang cause the gang with us. Might be that nigga you laying to us. Best cause your hoe cause she came to You tuning in to the greatest podcast out of Atlanta today. We got a very special guest. Chat go crazy. You know what I'm saying? We here. We lit. Yeah. 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 For the people that don't know, where you from? I'm from goddamn, I'm from Clayton County. It's like south of Atlanta, like 30 minutes away type shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm from Clayco, goddamn. They know what Clayco <laughs> Yeah. Nah, <laughs> but nah, you right, because people are not, so people that from Atlanta and shit. Yeah, yeah, niggas think that shit Atlanta. That shit not Atlanta. But once you say Clayco, because you know Walker put it on the yeah, map. Yeah, but to niggas like know that for sure. Yeah, yeah niggas know. Street. But man, when when you come to grocery, they where we at grocery, but it's not all the way out in Clayton County, you know. Clayton County big as fuck. Facts. Hell yeah. Play County big. Hell yeah. What the hell you been working on though, music wise? Man, really, I've been working on. Um, really, I've been working on getting these visuals out for real. I gotta get a bunch of visuals out. Like, well, that's one thing. Like my fans, and, like supporters know. Like I always had like the music and shit, but mm-hmm. I never had like no visuals for. Real. I really just shot my first video. Like last like, week, wasn't it? That shit was mm-hmm. like I dropped it like a week ago. Yeah, I shot that bitch like. When we shot that shit, Rocky, like two weeks ago, like two weeks before we dropped it, no, like a week before we dropped it. So like so that's two weeks ago. your first ever video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like um, and that shit wasn't even supposed to be a video for real. It was really supposed to be just like a visualizer to post it on the ground. Oh, you tweaking? You been supposed to been dropping videos? Yeah, man. yeah. I was supposed to be dropping videos for really a minute, but it's it's coming out like so now like this shit is is on. Now. Cause look like you could record a song and people gonna sleep on it, but once you drop that visual with that, they song, can just wake up for some reason. But like, oh, that shit hard. Back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, like, shit going crazy. You said more visuals, more music and stuff too. Hey, yeah, I got um, I'm working on a tape, my tape, EP or out or album. It's gonna be like a real like, I wouldn't say an album, mixed but tape. I wouldn't say an EP either. Yeah, I say a mixtape because it's, it's gonna be like more than songs. It's gonna be a lot of songs, and then but I wouldn't say an album because like this ain't really like um, this ain't I'm not, I don't know how to say it. I feel like I don't feel like I'm complete as an artist yet to drop an album. Like I'm still going through them phases. I'm still learning. Like I found my sound a little bit. Like my I found my swag for real. Mm-hmm. I don't think I really found my sound yet, but I found my swag for sure. Still evolving. I'm still evolving. So like when I feel like I need to do a little bit more evolving, then I'll drop an album because I want my album to be some shit. Like you know what I'm saying? That shit chart. Hell yeah. You feel me? But you said some real shit because a lot of people really don't know what's the difference between like an EP mixtape and an album. You Facts. see, when when you become become mainstream, an album is like it's gonna like make you or break you because they're gonna judge you. You that fucking sell serious. like you know you feel yeah, me? you yeah. sell like ten k and you already yeah. it gonna fucking break you. But you know that that's why a lot of people I be telling them like you know an album as a big artist you know that that's where you make your big money at yeah, you know because yeah. a album okay. be like what twenty bucks a pop. Fact. And imagine how many you sell like you know ten thousand copies you, you make some money you know. Man, what? I mean, you ain't made no money if you a 360 deal. <laughs> yeah, unless you, unless, like, you got to make sure you, the paperwork behind the yeah. scenes, right? Then you made you some money for sure. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, a lot yeah. of, you know, young underground artists right now, they're signing for some, man, some crazy. fucked up ass crazy deal just because they want to get their yeah. name out there, but. And it's like, they think that money, that little money cool too. Man, you going to blow that shit on a feature. <laughs> what? On a feature in the rental. <laughs> That's if you get that. <laughs> there you get that That's shit. if you get that. Hell yeah, so with the, the mixtape coming on, um, what is it gonna be like? Like a lot of features, or is it just gonna be strictly just you on there? I don't really do a lot of features for real. If anybody's on the on, on the shit, it's gonna be like somebody like in the game. So it's like you know what I'm saying. Shit, yeah. yeah, the fam. Mm-hmm. I don't really be doing no features for real. Like I don't really ever really be doing songs with people. But if I do, it's somebody like I, I fuck with. Like so, I don't care. You can be like you know what I'm saying. Top dog just started rapping yesterday. Mm-hmm. If you five, I fuck with you, and you my partner, you know what I'm saying? We family, then I'll, I'll definitely do a song with you. Yeah, yeah. So I think I might have like a couple a couple um, songs in there with uh, some of the gang. Like Chulo, Goddamn, my boy Fago. Might have my boy Turu Josh on there. I don't know if y'all oh, know what that is. Definitely you get Fago on that, Josh. Yeah, you for gonna, sure. You know, here that right shit going to go. Hey, how, man. How you feel like? Like in, in like your position, how you like you 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 know around him and shit like that. Now you see that he signed Travis Scott. He's about to you know drop a big ass music video or lyric, uh what's his name lyrical lemonade. Yeah, it's basically like he took off. You know, it just really showed me that shit possible for real. Like you can really do that. Cause y'all come from the same place and shit like that. So. Like we we got down, 
we just like that's like my partner. That's mm-hmm. like more than music type shit. Mm-hmm. But he really just showed me like he didn't. He never told me no wrong. He just showed me that shit possible. And hey, you gotta do that. You gotta really work. You gotta really work for that shit though. Mm-hmm. Like it's a, he like that man a genius. That shit more than music. But yeah, that yeah. shit real. You can do it. <laughs> that shit real. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that goddamn. Once you buy, like once you blow up to like you know the mainstream, what they everybody gonna call it the mainstream. Would you gonna you gonna you gonna still be in the underground world, or you you just gonna like you know try to make like pop hits and shit like that? Man, really, bro. My answer be changing, cause like a couple months ago, I ain't even want to be big for real. Now I done caught a little flame. I want to be the biggest like artist ever. But it's like I only I want when I say that I ain't trying to get the fame and shit. I just want niggas to know how. I want niggas to see how fire I am for real. Oh yeah. Like I'm trying to show people like I can really make music. You like, want to let your talent speak my for talent yourself. Talent speak, bro. Yeah, I don't yeah. really. I'm not really worried about the clout side for real. Shit, that, that yeah, you right on that. Cause nowadays that's all everybody care about clout. No okay. cap. You could be got in a stain in a band or homeless. As long as you got that one million followers, hey, the nigga happy. <laughs> It'd be crazy. Instagram it's be, crazy. It's, it's like gonna be a crazy world. Man, they got niggas acting out of character. Social media <laughs> as a whole, that's just crazy. That yeah, should be crazy. What's the most crazy shit somebody done seen you in the DM? Man. Uh, oh, man. Niggas, bro. The internet niggas, bro. Nick, internet, the internet, they be, bro. They, these trolls, bro. They be beefing with you on the DM. Yeah, uh, dude, yeah, <laughs> bro. Bro, literally today on God, I was asking, Um, I had to like a little, little Q&A on my Instagram story, mm-hmm. bro. Nigga done got the tweaking on me, bro. Done call me a bitch ass nigga and some more shit. Cause I deleted a song, bro. Like it's crazy. Like niggas be talking all sorts of wild, bro. That shit wild. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I ain't really got no wild shit, but I got some wild shit. But it just be like yeah. trolls. That shit still be wild though. To me, it's like you really sent me that. <laughs> yeah, <you really laughs> That's <me> weird. That. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that trolling shit. Do you ever like what you say? You get more hate or more positive vibes? I like at your support system. Like on my pe- my partners and shit. Nah, not nah, partner, but like like your Instagram, like you know oh, your supporters. Oh, you know, I get I get I get positive. I say positive. positive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't never really get no hate for real. And if I do get hate, like my supporters be on him or her, whoever hating, cause yeah. they fuck with me so much. I fuck with shit. my supporters. My support is cool. I fuck with them for real, for real. Fair. What would you say that one song that like put you out there, like you know, like getting mm. you noticed and stuff. I ain't gonna lie, I had a couple. It was like, like, mm, I really say Dior for real. Dior. Yeah. That was like one of my first songs though too. Like I recorded that on the phone, my man, Swag. On SoundCloud, right? I, record, I put that bitch on SoundCloud. And then um, some guy in Canada had re- um, wanted to hop on the remix, uh, Levi Bentley. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wanted to hop on the remix. So he had hopped on the remix and that shit he put on Spotify. That bitch got like 300K. Yeah, and I was only rapping for like four months then when that happened. Four months? Yeah, when that shit happened, I was rapping for like four months. You didn't think that shit was finna get that many plays? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. That shit was unreal to me, bro. Like, that shit's still unreal to me. Yeah. All, everything be unreal to me. I don't know, bro. I, Cause I, I used to be, I'm a fan of this shit. You gonna real. get used to it at one point, though. Once you like, you know, start yeah. hitting a certain amount of, you know, like views and shit, you be like, yeah. right, gonna, you gonna be numb to that shit. Like, yeah, man, I get that shit on the daily. Yeah, shit. Niggas say that. Like, I don't we, know. Like, when you first started rapping, right, mm-hmm. I know, like, this for everybody, like, you know, when they first start rapping, I know you ain't getting no big views, no big attention. How the hell did you even start getting that attention on, like, what exactly you did to start, you know, people, like, listening to your music? Because, like, of course, like, when you start rapping, of course, mm-hmm. the homies and certain people, you know, you go to school with or your neighborhood and, you know, go listen to it. But, like, how you expand from that as an upcoming artist? Well, really, for me... I came up, like, with the music shit. I started producing before I rap. Oh, you produced? So I made beats and shit. So, like, mm-hmm. I was always, like, luckily I, I got in tune with, like, a couple, like, you know what I'm saying, a couple of lit rappers and shit because mm-hmm. I made beats and I produced for them. So, like, so when I started rapping, actually my man Swag on Swag Hollywood, he had oh, goddamn, really? he had, I was I used to make beats for him and shit. Mm-hmm. He really got on the song with me because he didn't believe that was it was me rapping at first. Like he ain't believe me. Oh, the first time. He yeah, he heard yeah. he heard me, bro. He ain't believe it. He thought I recorded at a studio, and I told him I was recording from the crib. He ain't believe me, so I had to show him and shit. He ended up hopping on the song, and we just started locking in. And mm. so like I got fans from him, and then um, I had did a song with uh, 
Fago. And I got some fans from him. And like I just got fans, like I just always knew people mm-hmm. and shit. And so it was like, yeah, I always had connections. But like at the same time, I always like perfected my craft. And I always made sure I was five too. Cause I ain't like just cause you hang with some niggas, you know what I'm saying, or niggas know you don't mean you niggas we gonna stick around because oh, yeah, you, right, you gotta get right. something you gotta like, give us something to stick around for. So I just made sure I gave people something to stick around for. And I just I really just I've more so worked on like my music instead of like looking to reach out to fans for real. Yeah. So like I guess kinda like for me, I just let it happen naturally, really, bro. Like so that shit just came as you were. Yeah, went. like I mean yeah, people yeah. be asking me that. And I really just I, I don't really like try to force nothing for real. Right. Like I just let this shit like I, I focus on me and I guess naturally like people just tune in. Like cause I was just um like a couple of months ago, I was wondering why nigga wasn't talking about me and shit. Like I was wondering why I wasn't in conversation, but I was talking to my mans and I was just like, we just gotta give them something to talk about. So I just started yeah. focusing on me and now niggas is talking. Damn, that shit fact. cool. Yeah, yeah. But you said you started like <laughs> when you started taking it serious four months ago or you started rapping? Nah, four months I started ago? rapping. Well, when I made Dior, I was rapping for like four months. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's cap, like three. But now I've been rapping for like a almost like two. Two years. Yeah. All about sick down like that. You started rapping in the pandemic. Type shit. Well, <laughs> well, I started rapping like I started taking it like really serious pandemic for yeah. real, for real. But I've been rapping for like two years though. You like, seen really that recording. as opportunity? Since rapping? Everybody, yeah, like since everybody was you know in the house stuck. Low key was something to do at first. Really. You like fuck you. It was something to do, cause yeah. I wasn't working, and I wasn't going to school. So shit, yeah, nobody was. I wasn't going yeah, to school. Yeah. Even I had school. I wasn't doing the school. So yeah, it was something to do for real. And I just, I, I really like fell in love with it for real. That's uh-huh. really all that is. All right. But you still do both now. Still, still I make beats. I ain't really made beats in like a couple of months. I do it like here and now. I fuck around with it. Mm-hmm. I ain't really like sad trying to really make some beats in a minute, but I'm gonna start. I'm starting back really. Started back this week type shit. Why you on? You be making beats for yourself or you? Bro, no, I can't. I don't know for some reason. I just can't get on my own beats. My partners be asking me that shit. I just don't know why I can't get on my own beats. I can send somebody my beats. Yeah. And they'll get on it, but I just don't. I just can't get on it. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know what it is really. I'll probably get into it later on. I would say, well, that's free beats. Right. <laughs> really. Hey, bro, it would make sense. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure you plugged in, you know, the you know, where the producers and they just throw you free beats and shit like yeah, that. Facts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm... Yeah, producers be I definitely fuck with all producers. Any shows, anything you got coming up? Mm, shit. I hope so. You have you have you did a show yet for oh not yet, not you ready to do that first show? I'm really just now starting to do shit. Just mm-hmm. shooting videos. Just now, goddamn, really getting out for real. Yeah, so yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. I hope so, though. I really do want to do a show. Like, I'm hella excited to do a show for real. Yeah, yeah. You need to get it, man. That's why I'm, I don't know. I be trying to do underground show, but it's like... That'll be lit. It'll be lit, but it's like, damn. Like, I don't I don't got the right venue, and I'm trying to make that shit perfect. Well, not perfect, yeah. but decent. Get everybody a good experience, you know? Yeah, facts. Then I don't know what's the, you know, precaution for that little COVID shit. You know, you got yeah. the city got to put my own that down on um, regulations and shit. And it could, like, man, who the fuck want to be in a hot ass, you know, fucking venue with a mask on? Not fucking for the pass out, smoked out, smoked out. How we too geeked up. <laughs> Then niggas might fuck around and catch attitudes. <laughs> you know how them folks be? They be mosh pitting and all that shit, man. That shit. Yeah, that shit gonna be. That wouldn't be too cool. Yeah. That'd be kind of rowdy, weird. Yeah, I done seen people do shows with the mask on, but it's just like it's just it, man. This world just new. It don't know? look the same. It don't look the same. The world ain't been the same since that shit happened. Nah. I think shit gonna get back like um how it used to be after everybody get vaccinated. That's what they want. How you feel about the vaccine shit though? I ain't getting it. <laughs> you ain't getting it? Hell no. Nah. Because I, I, I put it like this, like, man, AIDS, cancer, been around for so long. And you telling me this new virus came in less than, what, four months, whatever the situation was. And what, then y'all came up with a vaccine in, like, what, six months? Not even a year. And something ain't right with that. It's like, unless y'all put the fucking virus out, y'all knew what y'all were doing from the get-go, you know? But, yeah. hey, everybody got their own opinion about the virus. But I ain't getting that shit, but... <laughs> But it's crazy how they're making it seem like, you know how like everybody can't even go to a basketball game or Facts. NFL game unless you got that little car when you go get vaccinated. Like, that shit crazy to me. Like, what the fuck? 
Then like all these big corporations offering you free shit to go get it. Like why they want they really want niggas yeah, to get they, that like, shit. Yeah, like it's crazy. It make you think like yeah. why y'all trying to not force it, but y'all doing it a smart ass way to <laughs> make everybody Maybe the finesse. Know? Yeah, like <laughs> It's all the ready. They just everybody keeps saying chips, but I don't, I don't, you know, I, ain't, I don't know about nothing all that. <laughs> they can say anything, bro. Hell yeah, it's, it's crazy. So you got the visual out, put out last week. You got some more on the way, more music. What else you feeling like? You know, working on for for this year. So, really, I'm finna do a collab tape with my partner. Goddamn, ain't gonna say it yet. Ain't gonna say who yet, but. I'm pretty sure the fans will know. They'll probably catch on. I'm going to do a collab tape. This he shit already going crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they know. For oh, sure, they, they know. know. We got a song going crazy right now. Goddamn. That shit going stupid right now. Got like 600K in like four months. Oh, no more. promo either. Hit them with that no promo. <laughs> Hit them with the no promo. No label push. No, no label push. No uh -huh. nothing. Just We just made that song on the phone too. Just fucking around. What you mean on the phone? Y'all wrapped it through the phone? We got down. We be on FaceTime and shit while we recording. What? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, we be doing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we be doing that shit. That should be fun. Shit. So well, how many songs? It's going to be like an EP? Mm-hmm. That's what we want, like mm -hmm. five songs, six songs, some shit like Yeah, five. type shit. Yeah, we're going to shoot some video, um, visuals too, though. So but every song on the on Not the every song, but oh, probably like, so. I know one song we shooting for, for sure. Yeah. And then probably we do like one or two more, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll see. What's like the most played song you got right now so far? The most one I got that got plays? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um That uh, this song called Tasha For Real. My boy Chulo. The one I was just talking about. That mm -hmm. shit got that shit going stupid right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that shit going crazy. I don't even know why. But <laughs> niggas is fucking with it though. I mean you don't know why it go hard. <laughs> yeah, it's fine, but like I don't know why it's going that crazy though. Oh, like yeah. that shit. Like, bro, that shit, it just new to but me, But it'd bro. be like that for some people. Music, like, slowly pick up. Like, you know, yeah. people start discovering who you is and, you know, what, like. I knew that song was going to do good. Like, maybe, like, 100K in, like, a month good. Mm -hmm. Well, not even a month. Like, 100K is just overall good. Yeah. But, like, for it to do the numbers it's doing now, it's just crazy. But it's just new to me, bro. Maybe, like you said, I'll get used to it. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Cause next thing you know, you're gonna be like, shit, a hundred thousand ain't gonna be shit to you. You want no millions now. That's, no millions. I hope so. Hell yeah. I hope so. I was well you 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 got you grew up basically in Clayton County, right? Mm-hmm. How the hell it was growing out here? For people mm -hmm. that don't know, you know, what is Clayton County or Atlanta. For me, for me, like I grew up playing sports and shit. Yeah. So like, you know what I'm saying? But I always hung around older niggas and shit. So like, you know what I'm saying? Like I was always like I had partners that do certain shit, you know what I'm saying? Niggas that hoop. Right. Some niggas that don't hoop. Some niggas that rap. Some niggas that don't rap. Beats, all that shit. So I was always around like a lot of shit. So I was playing basketball, but then when I got to high school, I said, fuck sports. Like, that shit wasn't, going, it wasn't working. The man, I, you said fuck sports. You started smoking? I didn't even get to smoking. I just started oh, smoking shit. like a year ago. Not even a year ago. Yo, a couple of months ago. Really, almost well, a year. Usually when everybody starts playing sports, stop playing <laughs> sports because it start, you know. Nah. I ain't mean, started smoking until yeah. like late last year. Late last year. But I yeah. fuck with it. What I used to hate you? weed. Why? Talking about the smell or just the. I used to hate weed. Like, I used to hate the way it smelled when it burns. I still hate the way it smells when it burns, but I hate the way. I used to just hate like how it made me feel. I used to be tweaking. Like, you and she used to make me overthink <laughs> everything. Like, let me ask you that you would tweak when you first hit the blunt? Yeah, right, yeah. It's like, I was tweaking. Like, <laughs> Like, I was smoking this shit, bro. I'm like, nah, this shit, I'm gonna be cool as fuck. I'm smoking, bro. That shit was not that it. That would be cool as That was not <laughs> it, bro. I was not fucking with it. I was overthinking everything, bro. I was high as fuck. Like, man. My first time smoking, I had, I had, I forgot, I have part of, uh, uh, I think it was like a, a Mac Strong or a Tylenol, some shit like that. He <laughs> tweaked. Then, you know, I had some, uh, took like two shots of some Patron. Then I hit the blunt. Boy, my god damn. I was tripping, bro. Like Sweet. Yeah, I was, uh, like, bro, like, man, hey, man, I gotta you go to the hospital. <laughs> I, like, I gotta go to the hospital, bro. Like, man, I was <laughs> I was tripping, man. Yeah, boy. nah, you fucked up with the Tylenol and the Patron. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like that shit. You probably wouldn't even really feel the weed. That's what they call it. I had a bad trip, you know, got now. It's my first time smoking this shit. That's all you do is smoking shit? You don't do nothing else? I quit smoking. Oh, uh, you don't need smoke? Nah, no more. I start. Got to the point I was just blowing too much money on that shit. <laughs> You know how it be. You become an addict. 
I mean, you can't become no addict out there, you know, smoking shit. But hell yeah, man. Goddamn, you, you planning on dropping with and when another visual you plan on dropping? I really plan on dropping with another visual like within the next really like week, week or two. You already got it recorded? Or you... No, I'm finna go shoot another one. In mm-hmm. fact, I gotta shoot a couple of videos actually. Right. So, oh, at the same time? Probably like I do one one day and do one another day, shit yeah. like that. But like we be working though, like so when, like when we when we have like a goal, like me and my team and shit, mm-hmm. like when we have like a goal, we want something to do, and we get on it, like we would be on it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So like it it won't be nothing to get it done. Right. We just gotta get it done. How you feel about the um the little TikTok shit? How you know how it be like it was? Well, I mean it's still this SoundCloud, but how everybody just instead of going to SoundCloud now they dropping shit on TikTok now. Oh, like they be putting their music through TikTok. Not, not that it's like they got them literally dropping the music on TikTok and everybody listening. You, you know? can do that. Yeah, you know, um, a man, whole song. Yeah, a whole song. You go like what Tune Court or what? What the fuck, everybody? You Distro Kid and shit like that. You know they got an option to drop your music on TikTok now. Also, where niggas can use it for videos. Yeah, that too. And I think I don't know if they made it official, but I think they count the streams now. What? I'm not sure. I'm not 100 percent sure. I gotta look into That'd that be shit. Lit. Cause I know Facebook recently just got added into the becoming a stream, and that's where like. Bro, a lot of people gonna sleep on that Facebook marketing because everybody Facebook on Facebook, bro. <laughs> like it's for the old folks to me, but shit, hey. No, I'm talking about like company period, like yeah, they lit. Oh hell yeah! But once I heard like other like I, they mentioned a couple of platforms that entered you know the streaming world and shit, mm-hmm. but Facebook was like the biggest one because like man, they get trillions and trillions of people on that shit every day. And imagine you market your music through there. The right way how people market it on Instagram, you know, it's like I didn't even know you can drop your music on TikTok. Yeah. I know niggas be getting like viral songs, like from like people using their songs for TikTok, but yeah. like I didn't even know you could do that. Hell yeah, yeah. Then That's they got crazy. you know they got a top chart on that shit now too on TikTok. For real? Like I forgot how to go on that shit, but yeah, you you go on there and like you pick a song and shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it'll tell you like what's the number one song trending on TikTok. It'll give you like I think the top ten or some shit like that. That shit be crazy, bro. They got them TikTok. That why a lot of um, who I just interviewed that blew out TikTok. Young Chris, bro, blowing mm-hmm. up like literally like bro getting like millions and millions of screens now like off TikTok. And it's like that TikTok shit real. Hell yeah, that's the new way. But it's like you gotta learn how to use that shit. You know, it's like other platforms you gotta learn how to use it. And, you know, shit like that. Yeah, I just be on TikTok to watch funny videos. Oh, that's what I do too. Shit, that, that shit, TikTok is funny. What you think of the underground world, um, uh, the underground sound in Atlanta? Mm-hmm. You fucking with it? Yeah. Fucking with that shit. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, like my partners and shit. Like, uh-huh. yeah, like my partners and shit. I fuck with Lonely too. Um, Even the A. Oh, uh, yeah. I fuck with. What? I thought I be fucking with people's music. Like, but let me ask you this. You've been staying in Atlanta for so long. Well, basically, you know, whole your life. Why the hell when you see a person like that, like, lonely or, like, dressed, like, you know, a certain way, we like, man, they weird as fuck, you know? Nah, I fuck with that shit. But you know, but you're... But if I, if I could, I would, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean, though? It's like, but B100 in Atlanta, we don't look for no underground artists. We look for the, who gonna be the next street rapper. Who, who the fuck is the next Jeezy or Gucci or, you know, whoever, you know, Migos. I don't even, I don't even look at shit like that, really, bro. I pay attention to that shit because I'm like, look, what's I in the radio? To. Like, what's in the radio in Atlanta right now? Like, why you think every artist that, like, to me, Swell Fuego blew up because he went to expand his brand to other states. You feel me? Then, you know, it's like. Shit, Fuego just got down. That nigga just did. He just stayed true. That's what he did. Hell yeah. I mean, but I know what you're talking about, though. Like, he just, he became, he appealed to the masses. Yeah. Yeah. But right. I, but I, I don't want to say he he he's starting a new wave where like now people gonna be tapped into the underground scene in Atlanta, which it wasn't ever like that. It was strictly like Cali and New York and Texas, you know. I peep what you're saying. I see what you're saying. We've yeah. been slept on on the underground. Yeah, basically, I yeah. see what you're saying. Hell yeah. I see what you're saying. Shit, it's time for niggas to get in and wake up then. Hell yeah. Shit, it's lit. <laughs> it's really lit out here. It's lit. Tap in, bro. This shit going crazy. You feel like you got a big advantage just because you stay in Atlanta? Mm, kinda I feel like I wouldn't say a big advantage But I would say an advantage though Cause like mm-hmm. A lot of shit going on here You know what I'm saying There's a lot of people here mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying You never know Who you might run into oh, So definitely. 
You know what I'm saying? I, I would say an advantage. I won't say a big advantage. I don't know. Because yeah. I was like, this shit, like, I already knew Atlanta was lit because, you know what I'm saying, I was, I've been around, so. Now, the reason I ask because, like, people that are from Atlanta, they automatically think, like, oh, he's from Atlanta, so somebody be most definitely helping him out the you know how they be like, you see, you ever seen that meme with like Atlanta rappers helping each other climb up yeah. the ladder? Like, man, ain't nothing like that, bro. Like, that trip. I think it really just depend around, depend on who you be around for real. Yeah. Cause sometimes, but, like, it's hating niggas everywhere. Oh, most definitely. So, yeah. then, yeah. then another thing is like, like you said, who you know, like, you know, that could put you in the right position and get you heard, you know, like. Yeah, yeah. But in Atlanta, shit, if you was just stay in Atlanta, you want to rap, just show your face card, you know, a lot of. You gonna get you you gonna run into the that right shit people real. quick. That quick. shit real. You gotta go outside, bro. You gotta be outside. Like the internet shit only do so much. You can only do so much. It only does so much, bro. The fact. That's real though. That's definitely real. Niggas do need to learn that shit. Yeah, yeah. You gotta go outside. You be more out. Or you be more on on IG more. Like when it comes to networking, you network more through IG or and. You know, I say a little bit of both. A little bit both. A little bit both. Like lately, lately it's been like on the internet because like people are like. Probably not really in Atlanta right now mm-hmm. to talk to, like, you know what I'm saying? But, like, like a couple of months ago, I was meeting hella people, like, I just being out, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Just being oh, yeah. out. So, it'll be a little bit of both. I'll say 50 50 for me. 50 50. For yeah, me. Yeah. Hell yeah. What would you say your st- style of music is? Shit. Right now, it's just like it's some lit shit. Like, you can't not, you can't listen to my music and not get lit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? That rage shit. Like, you just got to pipe up. Like, it just puts you in a good mood. Hella fans be sending me videos of them just in their room, just going crazy, crazy, listening to my shit. That shit be making me happy for real. Yeah. Like that's that mean I did what I was supposed to do. I wanted you to feel that. Man. You know what I'm saying? So it motivates you to uh-huh. keep going, goddamn harder and shit like uh-huh. that. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, that shit real. What's that feeling like? You got that? that shit crazy? Cause it's like I was just a fan. Like I was just one of them. Yeah. I wasn't sending niggas no videos, but. It's goddamn, I was just a fan. Yeah. And now, like, people are fans of me. That shit, it's surreal. But I appreciate it, though. I appreciate that shit hella. Yeah, that like, shit crazy right there. You think you ready for the fame? Um, yeah. Fame ain't got to be ready for me. <laughs> Straight <Okay>. up. <laughs> that, but you we know what? When I mean the fame, like, I'm talking about, like, you can't even go out, like, how you want to. Like, you go to the mall, you're going to get shut down. You go, you know. Then you got to think about the the tensions of people walking up to you, they might see you at the gas station, you know, you don't know what the fuck, and really they want to do it. Then everybody for nowadays, they they all about clout. So as long as they catch you down bad, it's like, you know. Yeah, never get the you chance to catch you You can't live a regular bad. life no more, basically, bro. They won't even that catch you down fame. bad. We don't even, like, maybe on point. But, <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about, yeah, though, I know. You know. Yeah, yeah, I don't got We on damn. point, though. Like, bro, but, we, we be chilling, bro. I don't even think no nigga will even try that shit, bro. Niggas, bro, I be cool. Unless, yeah, unless you out here, I have I mean, beef, but niggas beef. do that shit, though, for sure. It's yeah. good, you know. Man, they, they do that. I ain't gonna say to everybody, but, man, you know what? But it be, it be hard, because in Atlanta, boy, you ain't, boy, I ain't gonna lie, but everybody got a chain. If, uh, it don't matter if you got them real or not. Everybody got a chain out here, big chain, you know? So, it's a big shit with that. Anything else you want to, like, tell your, you know, your supporters? Man, y'all keep showing love, man. It's finna get crazy. Like, it's shit finna, shit finna go up. You know oh. what I'm saying? It's finna get serious. So, hey, man, tap in, tune in, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's up. It's finna get lit. It's about a lot. It's finna be a lot of good music coming out. Great music. Yeah. It's trap. shit finna be serious. Hell yeah, yeah. Trap, that boy. Trap finna goddamn blow up with that shit. You got damn. What, okay. what would you see? What would you say your potential is like in like two years? Who for that? Day? Yeah, I don't know who for that. Trying to figure out the same shit. Damn, <laughs> 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 man, that'd be crazy. Man. Okay, I just see somebody right. peep their head and they got their head on. Isn't that your man, your manager probably right? Oh yeah, you hey, sure? come on. Oh, tell come in. Come in. Nigga. Nigga closing the door. Yeah. <laughs> he <not> even <laughs> nah, you straight. Run that way. That's it. <laughs> like, yeah, like, who the fuck? <laughs> That's it crazy right there. That boy fitted, it man. Was, it might be a wild, wild west in here. Man. <laughs> <laughs> that 
crazy. That's crazy, man. That's just crazy for real. Right it. Right. <laughs> hell yeah, man. Where the hell they can find you like on social media platforms? Um, at chat, at chat go crazy. Um, mm-hmm. chat crazy with a K. Mm-hmm. On everything, really. Yeah, yeah, yo, Instagram, motherfucking Twitter, TikTok, yeah. fucking. What you been doing on TikTok? Dancing and shit too? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> hell no. <nah. laughs> <laughs> hell no. I can't even dance. I'm too. You been doing tutorials how to roll up and shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I see though. Like funny shit, tutorials on how to fucking cook or do stupid shit, or people just. Oh, that's dancing. funny as fuck, man. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah, probably I probably will do one of them videos. Hell yeah. yeah. What, okay. you, what you trying to get out like, you know, I, I doing music. Like what's your like what's your goal, your accomplishment? You trying to Really? I just wanna goddamn be able to like make sure like I can put like my partners and shit in like positions to do mm-hmm. shit. Mm-hmm. I wanna goddamn make sure my family is able to do shit. Right, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody be cool. Most definitely. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I want everybody to like really like appreciate me like as an artist, for real. Mm-hmm. That's really it, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody yeah. straight. Everybody float trap. Uh-huh. We lit. Yeah, <laughs> we lit. Yeah, yeah. One more thing before we head out. What's some things you love and hate about Atlanta? Uh-huh. <laughs> Shit. I like how like um. I like how. Everybody, like, well, really, like, the people I be associating with. Like, everybody, like, fuck with each other. Everybody support each other. Support, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with the support. I fuck with, goddamn. I'm hot, bro. I fuck <laughs> with, uh. The music, goddamn. The music, of course. Yeah, yeah the yeah. music. Yeah, of course, the music. So, music, I fuck with the support. What else? I like the weed. Weed go crazy. Things I don't like. I don't like the hating niggas in Atlanta. Dick riding. I don't like the dick riding niggas in Atlanta and in the world. Is that the world? And I don't like, <laughs> I don't like lame bitches. You said lame bitches? Lame bitches. What you mean by that, lame bitch? Bitches be lame. <laughs> no cap, some lame hoes. But other than that, it really don't be nothing, bro. I be chilling, bro. So, like, I really be cooling. Yeah. So, like, the things I hate. I don't even really even have the chance to really hate those things because I really don't even put myself oh, yeah, in a fact. position to even be around that to hate it. You feel me? So, we lit. Hell yeah, more definitely. Hell yeah. Definitely. You already give out you know, your Instagram all that, you know, your music dropping soon. Hell your, yeah. More, you said more visuals on the way too. Stay tuned for that. Okay. Well, you know, man, appreciate you for coming out, you know, to the for podcast. Sure, I appreciate show you for support. having me, man. Hell yeah, yeah, man. God damn, hopefully to see you next year. God damn, well, uh, what's that shit that um, finally opened up? Um, rolling Loud. Yeah, Rolling Loud. Hell yeah. I seen a lot of underground artists on that shit. Yeah, they yeah, going yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah, man. Appreciate you. For sure, bro. Yeah, yeah we out.